Oh, yes, there's the first wicket. The miscue. Slices away off the outside part of the bat. The cut shot does not work. Jack Leach has bowled well since the start of the morning's proceedings. Shortage delivery, a little bit wide. Shamar Books couldn't get hold of it. There he is with that sweep that we mentioned earlier. He plays it well this time. Get it. There's an easiness and a silkiness about that cover drive. You'd expect that with Bonner. Huge shot from Ben Stokes. The talisman gets the wicket, gets the breakthrough, and no doubt, and Kuma Bonner will review. Ball tracking coming, pitching outside, off, impacts in line, wickets on Paris Paul. Gonna go back to Nigel on field. Nigel, I'm gonna ask you to stay with your original out decision. You're on screen now, make your signal. First runs off the bat for some time. Jimin Blackwood off the mark, pleasant looking shot. 105 for three. That's the clock on the Cigarfield Sobers Pavilion, saying 12 o'clock on the dot. So I reckon after this final delivery, it will be lunch. Looking forward to lunch, Butch. Trying to get some grilled fish and some rice. Went for that Yorker. Brathwaite uh, watched it carefully, kept the toes out of the way. And that is the end of the morning session. It's been an enthralling one. England have thrown everything at the West Indies. Brathwaite has stood firm. Not too often you see the sweep shot pulled out by Craig Brathwaite. But he gets his 25th half century in test match cricket and he's had to battle and fight and lead from the front in challenging circumstances and he'll think highly of this knock so far he played it so late he was almost absent from class and some may say just took a, a thick outside edge Top shot. May not go for four. In fact, it does. Just a little bit short, but that is a beautiful way to put it away. That's the key. Even when you're under pressure, if the opportunity presents, play the shots, take the runs. That's a nice shot. Just rolls its way ahead of Ben Stokes to reach the boundary, but a nice shot, nice, nicely played, good timing. Go. And the little tempter, it's somewhat wide of off stump, it's beautifully played. No harm in trying to induce the drive, just a little bit too full from Joe Root. 162 for three. That's cleverly guided through that same gap again. Leach will not catch that. One eight four for three. Well, that's found that same gap again. This time it's a little bit firmer. This time it will roll comfortably to the boundary. And the good news for Jermaine Blackford. All this hard work pays off with a 50. 50 from 113. Presented with the opportunity there just to get that landmark up and in the scorebook before T. Oh! Two and two past the outside edge. Nice finish from Leach. Frustration there as he picks at the end of his nose. So a lot of hard efforts in the field from England through the course of the afternoon, but matched by the efforts 
of Brathwaite and Blackwood, both of whom have uh, resisted with a combination of skill and concentration, obduracy. So a lot still to think about for Roots, for his bowlers. Game still nicely balanced, but with the advantage still for England, simply because of the runs in the bank from that first innings. Starts off with the boundary, Craig Brathwaite. Loosener from Chris Wokes. Down the ground once again. Exquisite from Craig Brathwaite brings up the 100 partnership. Again, a little bit too full. In the gap, will challenge the boundary. Might just be holding. It's four. Well controlled from Blackwood. Yeah, good shot from Jermaine Blackwood. Waited for the ball to come to him. Another boundary, this time on the one side. Just showing signs of inexperience here from Matt Fisher. Mahmoud's come on and Leach replace Fisher. Great shot, fantastic shot. Not just a shot of a man who's on 92, not out, a shot of a man of a class player is Craig Brathwaite. Not going to miss out on anything over pitch like that from Saqib Mahmoud. Oh, the balls! A first test wicket for Saqib Mahmoud. That effort finally pays off. And he's produced what is one of his trademarks, that little gently in-swinging Yorker, which has finally found a way through the defences of Jermaine Blackwood. Oh, no. Oh, no. The sweetest moment has been snatched away from Saki Mahmood. Television umpire, third umpire, Gregory Brathwaite has let Nigel Duguid know that there's been an infringement. Oh, the frustration, the agony. Now, this will do, this will do very nicely indeed. Very deftly, very sweetly, tucked away behind square on the offside. And this is the reward for monumental effort and concentration and a lot of skill as well. This is what's known as leading from the front. Yeah, superb from Brathwaite. Don't waste form when you find it. Should be no pulling that one back. Short and wide and feasted on by the Centurion Brathwaite. Given that news, Blackwood helps himself to a boundary. This has been a well-paced innings, even for a bit of fortune. The top shot, the balance that he had to exude keeping the head upright and pushing it past one of those short mid wickets was brilliant edged and fine folks up to the stumps would have landed short of him anyway Hello. test match 100 number three for jermaine blackwood his second against England. And he's had his moments, his close shaves, but he's thoroughly enjoyed that standing ovation from his teammates. Tremendous knock from the West Indian vice captain. He would have been sorely disappointed in that first test match, but he's made amends in this one. Oh, 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 that is so close, too close to leave. 
a look of absolute bemusement on Jermaine Blackwood's face. And they will confer to see whether or not it is worth reviewing. And just with a second or two to go on the timer, that's what indeed will happen. Uh, thanks, Nigel. Player review, LBW. Well, tracking coming up. Pitch outside off. Impacts in line and wickets hitting. Nigel, I'm going to ask you to stay with your original out decision. You're on screen now. Make your signal. Well, full wide half volley is dispatched. The arms are up, the appeal is fervent, it's not going to get anywhere. My feeling is that's beaten the bat. There is a conference. It is the last ball of the day, whatever happens. And there is one little bit of drama left. It didn't seem the most convincing shout for review. It's pitching outside off. Impact, umpire's call, missing wicket. You go back to Nigel on field. Nigel, going to ask you to stay with your not-hook decision. You're on screen now, make your signal. So Nigel Duguid's original decision is confirmed, as I have to say I thought it would be. Gregory Brathwaite up in the TV umpire's position, very good actually, making sure the replays roll forward just to check there was nothing on the glove on the way through after the pad. But confirming that West Indies will stay four down at the end of the day. And what a performance this has been by West Indies captain. Craig Brathwaite has been absolutely outstanding leading from the front as he wends his way up those steps. 109 not out, frustrating Joe Root, frustrating the England bowling attack.